Hello kids! How are you doing? This is Mom Irene. Join me again in learning new words and enhancing your writing skills. Quarter 1, Week 4, Learning Activity Sheet Number 6 is all about composing clear and coherent sentences using appropriate grammatical structures, subordinate, and coordinate conjunctions. Specifically, after this lesson, you should be able to first define conjunctions and its kinds, second connect sentences using coordinating and subordinating conjunctions, and the last one is to use coordinating and subordinating conjunctions in composing sentences. I prepared some fun and exciting learning tasks for you to accomplish. So grab a pen and paper, get ready, and let's get started. Before we start our new lesson, let's find out how well you know about our previous lesson on clipped words. So we have this one. Identify the clipped word in each set. Number one, letter A, alarm clock. Letter B, computer. Letter C, phone. So what is the answer? Letter C, correct. So what is the complete word for phone? Telephone. Very good. Number two, A, basketball. B, gym. C, trainer. What is the correct answer? Letter B. Gym. How about its complete word? Gymnasium. Correct. Number three. A. Chocoholic. B. Classroom. C. Lab. What is the correct answer? Letter C. Lab. Correct. How about its complete word? Laboratory. Very good. Carlo is a college student. He goes to school every day to listen to the lectures of her prof. So what is the underlined clipped word? Prof. Is it A. A class president? B. A college friend? C. A teacher in college? What is the correct answer? Letter C. Okay, very good. A teacher in college. So... What is the complete word for prof? Professor. Very good. Number five. She used a clean hanky to wipe the dirt on her face. What is the underlined clipped word? The word hanky. So is it A. A rounded brush used for applying powder on the face? Letter B. A small mirror to see the dirt on the face. Letter C. A small cloth used for wiping the face. What is the correct answer? Letter C. Very good. So how about the complete word of the word hanky? Handkerchief. Correct. Mother keeps the fruits and vegetables in the fridge to keep them fresh. She also uses it to store fish, meat, and drinks to keep them cold. So what is the underlined clipped word? Fridge. Very good. So what is the meaning of the word fridge? Is it A. A big basket where foods are kept? Letter B. A stock room for fruits and vegetables? Letter C. An appliance to keep foods and drink? What is the correct answer? Letter C. Correct! Great! That was about our previous lesson. Let's now proceed to our new lesson. So what are conjunctions? Conjunctions are words that combine clauses into one sentence. They are like bridges that connect different places. The clauses that are connected by conjunctions may stand alone or independent or may not stand alone, that is, dependent. Look at this sentence as an example. My mother loves to cook and my father likes to fix things. 
this sentence has two independent clauses. Both clauses can stand alone. When a conjunction is used, the clauses become one sentence. So what are the two independent clauses? My mother loves to cook. My father likes to fix things. And what is the conjunction used? And Okay, so my mother loves to cook and my father likes to fix things. There are two ideas in one sentence. Here is another example that has one independent clause and one dependent clause. Here's the sentence. You should finish eating your soup before it gets cold. This sentence has one independent clause and one dependent clause. So what is the independent clause here? You should finish eating your soup. How about the dependent clause? Before it gets cold. So you should finish eating your soup before it gets cold. There are two ideas in one sentence but emphasizes on one main idea. It can be noted that a dependent clause starts with a conjunction. In this sentence, the dependent clause starts with a conjunction before. There are two types of conjunctions, the coordinating and subordinating conjunctions. Coordinating conjunctions are used to connect two main ideas. Therefore, it connects two independent clauses or words and phrases. Here are some of the most used coordinating conjunctions. Just remember the acronym FANBOYS. So the conjunction for, what is the meaning? Because or since. How about an example in a sentence? He knows how to cook for his mother is a chef. How about the conjunction in? What is the meaning? In addition to, Vince likes to draw and he also likes to sing. How about the conjunction nor? What is the meaning? And not. For example, neither my friend nor my classmate cheated on the exam. So the conjunction nor is used in the sentence. How about the conjunction but? What is the meaning? However. For example, Faye walks to school but wakes up late every morning. So the conjunction but is used. How about or? Either. For example, Kurt makes halo halo or flies his kite every summer. So, the conjunction OR is used. How about the conjunction YET? What is the meaning? BUT. And the example, Ellie is good at cleaning, yet he is unorganized. And the last coordinating conjunction is SO. What is the meaning? THEREFORE. For example, Mark was sick, so he asked Alicia to make some porridge. So, always remember the acronym FANBOYS for coordinating conjunctions. F is for FOR, A, N, N, NOR, B, BUT, O, OR, Y, YET, and S, SO. How about subordinating conjunctions? Subordinating conjunctions are used to connect two ideas, but the sentence emphasizes on one main idea, as in the sentence, you should finish eating your soup before it gets cold. The one main idea is, you should finish eating your soup, while before it gets cold is a subordinate idea. Do subordinating conjunctions confuse you? Let's have an example. Aaron was late to school because he was stuck in traffic. In this sentence, we have two ideas. However, it focused on Aaron being late to school. 
The second idea just explained why he was late to school. This is the independent clause. The subordinating conjunction that was used is because and is now part of the dependent clause. Therefore, it cannot stand alone. Subordinating conjunctions must be placed before a dependent clause. Still confused with subordinating conjunctions? Let's have more examples. Conjunction if. For example, you can study well if you manage time. It talks about condition. How about the conjunction after? For example, Shane always sleeps after she ate. So that is time related. How about the conjunction be because? The Philippines is in debt because of the pandemic. So the relationship is cause. How about the conjunction before? People normally went to work before the spread of COVID-19. So it talks about time. How about the conjunction while? Many students are studying while at home during quarantine. It also talks about time. How about when? When he moved to Manila, Rael had a hard time adjusting. It also talks about time. How about the conjunction though? I can help you with your homework though you don't need it. The sentence order of sentences using subordinating conjunctions may vary if the subordinating conjunction is in front of the dependent clause. Do conjunctions still confuse you? Fret not! We'll be having some exercises that will help you improve in using conjunctions in sentences. Turn your learning activity sheet to page 6, let us practice. Underline and identify the conjunction used in each sentence. Write C if it is a coordinating conjunction and S if it is a subordinating conjunction. Number 1. You can return the slippers if it doesn't fit you well. So what is the conjunction used? About number 2. Nikki has a lot of friends for she is kind and outgoing. What is the conjunction used? And how about the time? Is it a coordinating conjunction or a subordinating conjunction? How about number 3? The dog drinks water and it waits for its owner to walk. What is the conjunction used? How about number four? My father loves to go to work, but he doesn't like to go there on the weekends. What is the conjunction used? And is it a coordinating or a subordinating conjunction? How about the last one? Though we lost the game, we had a great time playing with our friends. What is the conjunction used? And is it a coordinating conjunction or subordinating conjunction? Let us always remember that conjunctions are like bridges and chains that connect ideas, especially clauses. Conjunctions do not only bring ideas and pieces of information together, but they also separate or contrast them against each other. Conjunctions connect independent and dependent clauses. There are two types of conjunctions, the coordinating and subordinating conjunctions. Coordinating conjunctions are used to connect two main ideas. Therefore, it connects two independent clauses or words and phrases. Examples of coordinating conjunctions are for and nor, but, or, yet, and so. Subordinating conjunctions are used to connect two ideas but the sentence emphasizes on one main idea. Examples of subordinating conjunctions are if, after, while, because, before, when, and though. Turn your learning activity sheet to page 7. Let us practice more. 
here's the short selection. On a sheet of paper, you're going to rewrite the paragraph by connecting the sentences using conjunctions. So here's the selection. My friends and I love dancing. We can do modern dances. We can do folk dances too. For our level program, we planned a modern dance number for Mrs. De Castro, our PE teacher. We wanted a folk dance. She suggested the national dance, Carinosa. Finally, Mrs. De Castro decided that we would do a creative dance. So get a sheet of paper and rewrite the paragraph using conjunctions. Here's your final task. On a sheet of paper, combine and rewrite these sentences using conjunctions. Look for the conjunction inside the box that should be used in the sentence. So for number one, the school buildings were destroyed. The typhoon was strong. So what conjunction should be used to connect the two sentences? I like drinking water. I keep hydrated. So choose the conjunction to be used inside the box. Jeremiah continues his work. He plays Mobile Legends. So what conjunction should be used for these sentences? How about number four? I still study. I am sick. What conjunction should be used? To write the sentence. About the last one. Nelia has ortho. She still speaks well. So what conjunction should be used? Great job! I am so happy to see you learn and accomplish all the activities. Keep up the good work and see you in our next learning session. Take care! To check if you got them all right, check your answers using this answer key. Again, this is Mom Irene Sancho saying thank you for watching.